assumed that the power comes from within her, right? The bracelet just awoken, whatever it is. So they could still yep. be like, the the bracelet awoken is some magical properties. We find out it's Terrigen mist is imbued in the thing and that evolved her or something like that. So everybody who's very upset about her powers, don't worry. It looks like we're going to be fine. Yeah, maybe. It, it seems that there is definitely something cosmic about this bracelet, right? Whether it's imbued with some type of cosmic energy or it's infused with something else that's more magic-based. We're obviously yeah. delving into the magic side of the MC right now. And that kind of solidified that, no, there is something within Kamala that is brought on. Obviously, from her mother's side of this lineage, True. right? We got that very cryptic story that her dad, who was like one of my favorite characters. I love the father. Love that guy. Uh, <laughs> when he gets the poster, he's just trying to eat. He's like, oh, so good. But <laughs> he um, explains that, you know, her family had to escape that side of Pakistan. And there was this huge divide and kind of this little mini history lesson, which her mother kind of leaves the table and has this very emotional reaction to right like she doesn't want to think about it she doesn't want to talk about it she's avoiding it not only in her head but by physically leaving the table and then we get that shot rob where kamala's saving the little kid again social media kills people social media kills yes and she's saving the kid and her bracelet kind of activates this portal where it seems like it's her great grandmother in the past or in an astral plane i don't know what it some is some connection and it kind of messes up her focus of saving the kid for a second. So it seems to me very Green Lantern based. And I wanted to get yeah. your thoughts on that based on the fact that we kind of have a confirmation now. It's kind of like, oh, it's whatever I think I have to focus on making sure this platform I step on doesn't, you know, fall through and make sure it stays there. Mm -hmm. And not so much on the hands as of yet or the stretching of limbs or the embiggening as they call it in the comics. What are your thoughts on kind of what we've seen so far with her power set? I enjoy her power set. I understand the whole thinking of the thoughts and like she has to slide and she does all of that. Yeah. I think we're going to find out th later throughout the episodes and throughout the series that her powers are going to be more strong the more they are close to her, right? So the beginning of the arm is going to be easier to do than to summon a platform, right? Because it's going to be less thought. It's going to be instantaneous. You just stretch and you grab it. And that's mm -hmm. why her power set's going to do that. But I also think this slight change is going to allow her to be more versatile. So then she could create a platform for everybody else if that's what it calls for. Or she could create this little mechanism here to like open a gate with whatever. But I think yeah. her core of her powers are still going to be big because it's going to be easy to think of. She's going to allow her to do stuff. But then when she just needs to focus on creating constructs for her power, she's going to be able to do that. So I think it's a way for her to essentially give her a power up to have more flexibility, but also still keep her core to the comic. I, I like that too. And and my other question is, what connection does Kamala's mother's side of the family have to either in humans, I cosmic know, stuff? It doesn't seem like it's this connection the way Shang-Chi is connected with his father in the Ten Rings, right? Yeah. It's the way more deep into their family lineage. Like it's an ancestral passed down situation that it seems like her mother avoided or didn't want any part of. 